Hello my great people, welcome back to my channel. My name is Hedion from Forge Art, Graphic Art and Photography. Today I'm going to show you how to create a non-destructive Gaussian blur background for your image. Select your background layer and duplicate it to time. I'm not going to use the layer at the bottom. It is intended as a backup in case I mess it up. The middle layer is for the background and the top layer is for the subject. You can press W to select your selection brush. Make a quick selection with your selection brush. And then you can also zoom in and zoom out to make a better selection. You can use your bracket key to resize the brush. Take your time so you can make a nice selection. With the selection, we're gonna separate the background from the subject. When you're done with your selection, just press Refine. In the Refine panel, press put your brush in a mat and then refine the hair. If you do some mistake, you can also uh, put your brush to background or the foreground and then adjust the background or the foreground. When you are happy with your selection, just press apply. Now we can put a mask on our selection. Now we separate the subject from the background.
watch this. If you go and apply a um, Gaussian blur to the background, it will create a halo effect around the subject. So that cannot be done immediately. We must do some adjustment to the background before apply the Gaussian blur. So to get back this selection, go to the subject layer and um, press Command and click on the mask to get back the selection. When you have the selection, go to Select and Grow and Shrink, and then and then um, grow the selection with. pixel go to your in painting brush tool and then paint in the selection when you when you're done with painting release your mouse and and the program will automatically fill the background If you see some hard edges, you can use your in painting brush to refine the hard edges. When you are happy with your background layer, just turn back your subject layer on to see if everything is okay. After that, go to your background layer, go to effects and put some caution blur. With this adjustment, there is no more halo effects. You can also save your document for later and open it later and adjust your blur. Thanks for watching. This is how you can create a non-destructive Gaussian blur background in Affinity Photo. Don't forget to like and subscribe and comment. Let me know what you think about it.